For the second time since its inception, the Shell Eco Marathon returned to Malaysia for the Make the Future Live 2019 festival at the Sampang International Circuit. Now, the event brought together 100 students, teams from, one, from 18 countries across Asia Pacific and the Middle East to test which of their originally designed cars could go the farthest using the least amount of energy. Moniz al-Islam has the story. The Shell Eco Marathon event is one of the world's largest student engineering competitions for energy efficiency. And we are looking here for the students that built the world's most energy efficient vehicle. This year marks a decade of competition between Asian universities where each year the competition sees an increase in innovation in vehicle design, fuel efficiency performance as well as in participant team spirit. Student teams competed in one of two categories during the competition. The prototype involving futuristic and highly aerodynamic vehicles and the urban concept, vehicles that resemble everyday cars. 56 student teams participated in the urban concept category, while 53 competed in the prototypes category. Students had to choose from three different energy sources for their internal combustion engine, namely biofuels including gasoline, diesel and ethanol, hydrogen fuel cell or battery electric power. We want to give the student and engineers of the future a platform to show their ingenuity, their creativity when it comes to producing the energy efficient cars of the future. And we want to encourage them to work harder and stronger and understand what energy efficiency is about. Each vehicle must pass a detailed technical inspection before they are allowed onto the track to see how far they can go on the least amount of fuel. Amongst the winners, Malaysia's very own UITM EcoPlanet from University Technology Mara, UITM Sha'alam, won third place under the hydrogen fuel cell category. For the future, maybe we uh, target to improve our camera and belajar daripada tim-tim lain, uh, tengok macam mana mereka mengendalikan sistem engine mereka. Uh, so that kami harap tahun depan uh, kemenangan akan menjadi milik kami semula. In addition, teams had the opportunity to take part in a qualifier for the Drivers World Championship, a race to see who crosses the finish line first without running out of their limited allocation of energy. At the Drivers World Championship qualifier, Nanyang E Drive from Nanyang Technological University in Singapore came out on top, defeating other top urban concept cars. On top of happiness, I think the element of surprise is there because we are competing with deep, totally different technologies, and I think it's the first time that our type hydrogen car has actually made a win. We will definitely try to improve the car's stability and efficiency and work hard for the summer break to make the world stage. The top three teams from the Asia qualifier will face off against the best urban concept teams from the Americas and Europe in the Drivers World Championship to be held in London on July 5, 2019. The winner of the World Championship will then be awarded a once-in-a-lifetime experience and exclusive invitation to visit Scuderia Ferrari's headquarters in Italy. As the Shell Eco Marathon continues at the Sepang International Circuit, hand-built eco-efficient vehicles are put to their paces on the track. To understand further what exactly an eco-efficient car of the future would look like, we join Ian Moore, a volunteer for Shell's technical team, who is also the designated driver of Shell's urban concept vehicle. Hello there and welcome to this week's auto segment with myself, Wanizul Islam. Now I'm here in Sepang International Circuit where I'm attending the Make the Future Live featuring Shell Eco Marathon Asia for the year 2019. Now here we have a beautiful concept car by Shell and to explain to us a little bit more about it, we have ourselves Ian Moore, part of the Shell technical team. So tell us exactly what is this eco car? This is a, an urban concept class vehicle. Uh, on the right, on the right end, you can see the, we've got the prototype vehicle. You can see the two differences. Uh, for this, is a, a normal road-going vehicle, four wheels, 
uh, wiper, headlights and that kind of thing. So this distinguishes it from the prototype. So tell us, what is special about this vehicle right here? This is the only two-seater vehicle to start with. It's built to the same specifications as all the other competition vehicles. Um, it's very lightweight, it's carbon fibre. The shape of it is beautiful and uh, it's really nice, very efficient. All right, let's go check what's underneath the bonnet. All right, to explain to us a little bit more about what makes this vehicle special, Ian will show us what's underneath the bonnet. Okay, so under the bonnet here, we've got a, a Yamaha scooter engine. It's 125cc, and we've drafted the engine and transmission straight from a donor vehicle. So on the left here, this is the fuel tank. So this is a typical fuel tank, 350 milliliter fuel tank for urban concept class. What looks like a Coke bottle here is actually a Coke bottle. Um, and we use that as an air receptor because we don't allow fuel pumps in the, uh, in the system. So we use air pressure to, uh, uh, to open the injection system. The vehicle may be small and compact, but can reach speeds of up to 80 kilometers an hour. Once on the track, the eco-efficient car can navigate its way across the Sepang racetrack with ease whilst only having 350 millilitres of fuel in the tank. The urban concept car is one of many designs that hopes to inspire future engineers on energy-efficient vehicle alternatives that will help reduce the impact of greenhouse gases and over-exhausting fossil fuels. One Isul Islam, 7 edition.